What's up, beauty addicts? This is She's Lauren Ashley, back with another of my weekly uh, beauty videos, tutorials, and reviews. Um, so this week, um, actually yesterday to be exact, last night, um, I got my uh, monthly lip fix, my lip monthly in the mail. Um, so I wanted to do a video ASAP after that to do an unveiling slash review of the products. Um, I haven't used any of them yet, but I wanted to do that for this video and share some of my opinion and experience with you. Um, so I did a, a lip monthly review a month ago and you may have seen it. And um, I really uh, was disappointed by it as I noticed a lot of other vloggers were. Um, it was a lot of the same type of product, a lot of just like pale pink or hot pink lipsticks and um, it's really kind of a common thing to have and I wouldn't say that, you know, even though it's like a cheap monthly uh, lip deal, it's still, you know, do you really need that in your collection? Is that something new? Is that something um, kind of helpful? Uh, is it worth its while, basically? Um, so. This month, um, here's a little bag, and um, I feel like Lip Monthly, the delivery time has been consistent for me. I've done it for like four months now, and um, I feel like it's come uh, at the, it's for me, it's, come, it's arrived at the end of the month, um, and that's been consistent, so I come to expect, hey, like the last few days of the month, I'm looking forward to it in the mail, because, you know, it's always fun to get mail, so... Um, Here's the bag. It's the June bag. It's a cute little pool. So here's what's in the bag. Drum roll, please. Da -da -da -da. I always like the little baggies that come with it. I love having little baggies. They're so useful for when you like. I always feel like I have a big purse. Um, so here. Are the products um, the first one is it's um model co it's their lip crown and um, it's the color I got the color red velvet and um, that goes for retail price is $17 um, so I'm gonna try that the next one is Steve Laurent. I saw an ST and a Laurent and I got really excited that it was St. Eve Laurent. Um, so it's Steve Laurent lip gloss and that goes for a retail of $16. It comes in this pretty rose gold box and that got me excited. I got the color called Aurora. But then, um, I've already looked at this, but um, I haven't used it yet. If I can get it out. Okay, so it's a really cute rose gold lid and box and all that stuff. But um, this is the, I mean, I need to try it, but it looks like the exact same color as the lip gloss that I got last lip monthly bag. So that's first off like, uh, you know, I'm not so thrilled about that. Um, but I'm going to try the lip gloss anyway. Um, you know, it's like you can use a pale pink lip gloss, but it's not. You want stuff that's like, wow, this is interesting and different. Um, that's at least what I've been looking for with the lip monthly subscription. Um, so there's this. It's Saint, uh, Steve, <laughs> Steve Laurent lip gloss. It goes for a retail of $16. And um, there's also, which is a really pretty box, um, it is Seraphine Lip Crown. So it can double as a long lasting velvet lip or cheek crown, which I think is cool. It comes in a really pretty box, like a floral metallic, and it goes for a Retail price of $22. This is it. It looks really pretty. I love dark red. So that's something you can kind of be like, all right, like, <laughs> um, this is it. It looks, it's like, it's a lip pencil. 
I only have one na pretty nail right now. That's a whole nother story. Um, so apparently you can use it on your cheeks, which it looks a little bit red for my cheeks. Um, but you never know. Long lasting velvet lip. So that's cool too. I'm intrigued. Um, and then this is cool. It's a blush, which I'm excited about. Um, and it looks like it's like kind of frosty. It's um cargo blush. And it's water it's a water resistant bronzer, which I like. I don't have very many bronzers, so that's good for summer. It's cargo. It's a cool little cute container. It's definitely handy and portable, which is great. Um, so I'm going to go over these and I'm going to make a look and I will talk about them as I go. Thanks for tuning in. I am going to start from the darkest colors to the lightest colors. Um, so I'm going to start with Aurora um, by Steve Laurent. <laughs> Don't get it confused. It smells fruity. That's good. But I mean it's literally like the pale pink lip gloss I got last month. I can't remember the brand, but it's essentially the same. But let's try it out. Um, so, this color's great. It's very pink, um, so it's not like a nude. Um, it has a nice, pleasant, kind of fruity smell, and um, it's not sticky, which is a major for lip gloss. It's very silky um, and light. So it's it's got a really nice texture, it's got a nice smell, and the color's nice, you know? It is something that you can use, I feel like, People of all ages can use a pale pink. Um, somehow you can work it. Uh, so even though it's not like a wow thing for me, I think it's nice. Um, so I'd say I'd recommend it, but um, as far as continuing with it, I wouldn't be wowed by it, uh, by this in itself um, for the Lit Monthly subscription. try the um, the quince and crimson that says it's a dual long-lasting velvet lip and cheek crown so I'm gonna try it on my cheeks while I still have this lip gloss on and so let's see what happens It looks, it looks really good for fake blood so far. Um, I'm gonna wipe, okay, I'm gonna blend this and um, take this off, I'll be right back. Okay, so I took off the um, pink lip gloss and I'm gonna blend um, this Quince and Crimson Long Lasting Velvet Cheek Lip Color. So I'm trying it on my cheeks and I'll try it on my lips. So. I've already got it on here and let's see how it blends. I usually am more of a like a br sort of a tawny cheek person per like from my own taste. Um, I you know obviously if you've seen my other videos I like trying new things. Um, so I would definitely go with a little. See how I've used like just some sketches, I guess, on your cheek um, and blend 
down as you go into the um, apple of your cheek. Um, that's not bad. It blended pretty easily. I'd say go light with it and then build as you go, definitely, so you don't end up like looking like a clown. Um, it's on my fingers. But um, it's nice, you know, like for a duo, duo, um, sorry, lip gloss on my face. <laughs> Let's do the other cheek. And lightly blend. This one I might have put on too much. Well, you can always wipe it off. I can add it to this side. It blends really easily. I was afraid it wasn't, but it does. And I think it blends nicely. And it's not too red, I don't think. It's not like my go-to shade for blush. Um, but I think it's nice. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was easy to do. You know, if you want like a really portable makeup look, that would be cool and easy to use. And by the way, sorry, I meant to say this. I started off this video wearing mascara, eyeliner, um, foundation, and concealer. So just a general statement. You might hear my cat meowing in the background. Um, okay, so now I'm going to do the lip. The, the Kints, Kints and Crimson. Let's see how it goes. It smells nice, actually. I think this Quince and Crimson Long Lasting Velvet Lip and Cheek Crown uh, is my favorite product that I've gotten from Lip Monthly thus far. I'm really impressed. I mean, I haven't had it on all day, but the fact that it's a dual product, um, the, the cheek and the lip are on right now, um, and I really, I think it looks really nice. And this shade of red is my favorite shade of red. It's a really deep ruby red. That's, you know, as far as like the range of lip colors go, like that's definitely um, my favorite, my um, preferred shade. So I can definitely see using this um, regularly. I probably won't use it on my cheek, but like if I'm going on a trip, like a day trip or something, I might just so I have something handy that I can use for both. Um, so that's really awesome and it seems really nice and the texture is nice. It's, um, it's like a medium, uh, like it's light, but it feels like there's a little moisture um, and it doesn't feel too, it doesn't feel drying either. Um, so as far as long lasting, I will definitely, um, follow up in the comments. Um, so definitely check back, but I love this. I love this lip. I think it's gorgeous and it goes on really easily. It's just like lining your lips, um, but easier, I think, cause you're just filling them in. Um, so, um, after that I am going to use um, the cargo water resistant bronzer. It's very cute little compact. Again, it's very portable. This is my brush. It's a Mary Kay um, blush brush and I've had it for years and I love it. 
It's very portable as well, and you can make it as fluffy or small as you want. I usually use it on the smaller side. Um, so here's the bronzer. It look, looks nice and shimmery. So I'm going to put it on top of the Quince and Crimson, Crimson um, shade. I'll put some on my nose. I think a little bit goes a long way with this product, personally. Depends how bronzy you want to get. I'm, I've am i embraced my paleness a long time ago, so um, that's uh, its own thing. It's up to you. I just use one swipe, and I feel like it's good enough for me. I don't want it to look fake or anything. Um, so, uh, so, I put some on my nose to give it a little flush look. You might be able to see it. And there it is on my cheeks. I tried to put it on like the cheekbone, kind of complementing the blush that comes in the Lit Monthly for June 2017. So I think it rounds out the blush really nicely. And I, I love this lip color. I'm really excited about it. So that's great, Lint Monthly. Thank you for that. Um, I have one last lip color to do. And um, I'm going to take this off. I don't want to. I want to wear it all day. But I was going from lightest to darkest, and this looks like a dark, darker color. So I'm going to switch lips, and I'll show you how it goes. So I took off the Crimson and Kints. Kints and Crimson, sorry. I have to take off that red lip color. You can still, I left an outline on purpose so it serves as a, like a lip liner for this next color I'm gonna try. Um, but just a quick hack, and you know, this is just for whomever it helps. But, um, so that lips, that lip crown, it's supposed to be long lasting. Um, although I have not yet gotten to test the long lasting quality of it, which I look forward to doing. Um, in taking it off just now, I used a Q-tip. Look at how red that thing is. It was definitely tough to take off. Um, it doesn't seem like it'll just wipe off. Sorry, I have hair in my mouth. Um, from a, like a napkin or something. Um, it seems like it's definitely durable. Um, I used oil-free eye makeup remover, Mary Kay's uh, oil-free makeup eye, uh, eye makeup remover. I love it. I've used it. Sorry, I have hair from the Q-tip on me. Um, um, got it. I've used this since I was, since I've started wearing makeup, which is a long time ago. Um, it takes off eye makeup fantastically. It doesn't irritate my eyes. I've had eye irritation problems and still do sometimes. And um, I've tested it out and it's not this that causes it. Um, and it's for dry to oily skin. Um, it's fantastic though. Just a quick tip, use a Q-tip, put some of this on the end of it. And I did a top lip, bottom lip, and it, it was really, it seemed very durable. So, um, that is that. I just wanted to give you that quick tip. Um, and I blotted it with water and a paper towel afterwards just to get the oil from the eye makeup remover off of my lips. Um, let me fix my camera. So... Um, last with the June 2017 Lip Monthly bag, um, is Model Co. Lip Crown, which goes for $17 retail. This whole bag in full retails for $71, just FYI, and it was something like, I don't know, like 12 bucks, um, if you have the subscription. So this is it. So let's see how it goes. It smells like vanilla. I love vanilla.
So I have on the Model Co, Model Co Color uh, Lip Crown in Red Velvet, and um, I haven't gotten the to test the durability and lasting power of it so far, um, but I love this color. Um, both of the lipsticks in this bag I think are beautiful, and they're definitely my taste, which I'm excited about, and I think generally most people tend to like reds of some sort. Um, so um, that color uh, from Model Co retails for 17. This whole bag uh, retails for 71. You get it for about 12 bucks. So um, I think this bag uh, for June is really good. Um, it's way better than last month. Um, unfortunately, last month I didn't think it was very good. Um, but this month, um, I think there's some really a nice variety, and this is the whole look with the bag. I mean, excluding. Uh, the lip gloss that I put on before, um, but uh, I think it, I think it's a really nice, well-rounded bag, and uh, it's worth your while. I'm gonna stick around for July and um, see how that bag is, um, but I would recommend this bag, and um, I'm happy with it. And so, thank you. Good job, Lip Monthly. Um, I think it was good for this month. I wanted to thank you for tuning in this week. Um, I will continue doing uh, weekly, bi-weekly glamour, beauty, tutorial, review related uh, videos. Um, so please um, click like below, click the thumbs up to like this video. Please subscribe to my channel um, for lifestyle, glamour, uh, beauty, fashion style related videos. Um, and uh, I do have a new website and blog. It's she's Lauren Ashley .com. Uh, forward slash blog or if you just go to she's lauren uh, you'll see a button it's really clear to just go straight to the blog and i'll also post my videos there and write more about my tutorials on that as well um so you can also find more about fashion lifestyle travel um on my blog so please check it out um i hope to hear from you please leave comments questions, um, if there's a look or a uh, product you would like me to review or do a look um, for, then let me know. I definitely love to respond to the comments. And um, ch you can check me out on social media, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter. Um, please comment, like, subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you next time.